is wanting. So I can't wait for Maddox 21 to come out this year. So I looked on Amazon, I looked at the price, and I said I'm not spending that kind of money. You know, it messes up the money. I think I did something like that before, and it and it blew me off. But I let the price go down a bit. Maybe to $29.99. And uh, man, I see some couple of video games on sale, but they, but they very expensive to me. I told my mom, so um, let's just be quiet and, and, and let's play the game. You know, instead of being quiet, we just just have fun. Yeah. football before my life. The, the last time I played football, it was in Madden 25. So I can't wait for Madden NFL 21 to come out. I think that's going to come out in two August. But I'm excited. I have a lot of pounds of Xbox One games and PS4 games. Um, okay then. Hey everybody, it's the coach. Welcome to the special Saturday edition of the NFL on EA Sports. On deck, we've got what should be a great matchup between the Kansas City Chiefs and the Cleveland Browns. Yeah, the Cleveland Browns. So with that, let's get up to First Energy Stadium in Cleveland for the call. Yeah, we welcome in our broadcast I'm team, ready. Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. All right, Coach, it's it been a wet it. and dreary day by the shores of Lake Erie, but we have football at First Energy Stadium in Cleveland, Ohio. This was the scene yeah, a few minutes ago. Play. The dog pound in full roar as their Browns emerge from their tunnel. I'm ready. And they're ready to go as they get set to match up with the Kansas City Chiefs. Sports entertainment. Here's the former Sooner, Austin Seibert, to get this one started. And off we go from Cleveland. Right. This is Fielding at the goal nervous. line. Nope, you're not getting that ball. And he'll get it up to about the 26-yard line just across the 25. So here come the Chiefs for their opening drive. As we get a peek at the former Red Raider and 10th pick in the 2017 draft, Patrick Mahomes. Down is Mahomes. That's caught. Yeah, it's Demarcus it. Robinson. And he'll be taken Let's down, go. but not Let's before go. they work it across midfield. A really nice gain of 25 yards. So a first and 10 upcoming from Brown's territory now at the 49 yard line. They'll run it for the first time with Williams. And they'll get him down here at about the 42. It's a seven-yard carry to set them up with a second and three. Despite the blitz, they're still able to pick up a nice, solid game. The disadvantage of blitzing often alters the normal spacing and run fits and leaves creases like they were able to exploit right there. On second down, Williams. And this one goes nowhere. Losing yardage on the play back at the 46. It'll be a loss of a full three yards there, and it also brings up third down. And they'll need the 39 here for a first. This is third down. Working from the gun, Mahomes. And it's complete to Kelsey. And he's going to get this inside the 30. And they're going to have another first down as he's going to be tackled at the Browns' 27-yard line. 
Nice methodical opening drive here. They're already in the field goal range. They're in a good spot. You know that people like to take a shot in this part of the field. But at the same time, as methodical as they've been, they might want to run the ball a little bit here, too. And just on the outskirts of the red zone, they have options now. Either way, though, they've come out with a purpose. Oh, he tried to pitch it, and the ball's loose. And the ball ends up out of bounds, so it'll be a loss on the play. Not that time for Watkins, and that'll bring up second down. That loss of three, a rare stumble on a promising drive. Here's second and 13. Yeah, uh, okay, go it's a run for Williams. Damn. They'll get four on second down, but it leaves them with third and still nine to go. And now the Chiefs offensive starters. And the big key is going to be how can these wideouts create separation from the defensive backs? Because we've seen some early success in the passing game in this one, and that's going to need to continue. We're scoreless after one. The Chiefs with the football as we start the second quarter. They're on the march, but facing a third down here. From the gun, it's Mahomes. He's got it to Williams. And they stop him short of the first as he can only get to the 20. And they're getting him involved early. You feel like they saw something on tape or they just have a sense with him because he's had a good week of practice or something in that area that they want him involved, just as you said. They want him to touch it either in the running game or the passing game, but they must like the matchups they're getting. So still no touchdowns in the first half, but we do have some action on the scoreboard with the field goal. So maybe now the mentality changes in this game because anytime you get to the red zone and if you don't come away with six points, you feel like it's a disappointment. In a game like this one, being able to kick field goals means you're right there and then you're just looking for that big break to take you over the top. Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. They start on the ground with Nick Chubb. Stupid crazy boot this. It's celebrating and off he goes. And all the way in, touchdown Cleveland. Nick Chubb, 69 yards. And the Browns have taken the lead. And on that long run, maybe the defense caught napping a little bit. The concentration level may not have been there. I agree with you on that one because those types of plays, when they result like that, they're almost like big bolts of lightning, aren't they? Whoosh, and off he goes. <laughs> a good hold in these yeah, run conditions. The point after is up and good, and that makes it a 7-3 lead. So they hit pay dirt on just one play. The long run, the scamper, and a very nice scamper into the end zone for the touchdown. Yeah, to the touchdown. This will be fielded at the six. And not a bad return here. He gets it out to the 25-yard line. Here's the Kansas City offense now as they get set to take over. And last time able to get three. It's not what they wanted. They wanted six, but they got at least something. They mustered something out of the drive. They'll take it. Just, I, I like the way you, you've described it. Not ideal, but they'll take it. Anything to put some points on the board. But this time on offense, they don't even want to see the field goal kicker trot on the field. They want that ball in the end zone. Yeah, they'll be going for six. That'll be marked as a 27-yard pickup. I like watching the wide receiver screen because it's a real teamwork play. Because guess what? The guy catching the ball, he'll get all the credit. But how about the people at the block in front of him? Either fellow receivers or offensive linemen. That makes that play a really nice timing play. And sometimes it can break big. No gain there on the completion. Second and ten. Two minutes to play in this first half. 7-3, our score. A reminder, coming up at halftime, Jonathan Coachman will join us from Orlando with our halftime report. But business to take care of before we get there. A two-minute drill before the coaches' two-minute drill. Now a nice throw here right side. He hauls it in. And he takes this into the end zone for a Chiefs touchdown. Demarcus Robinson, 48 yards. And the Chiefs are going to jump back in front. 
And correct me if I'm wrong, that was just a simple fly route, wasn't it? No, there's nothing to correct at all. You've got it down pat. And I just remember as a player, when I'd be in practice sessions, and I'd hear nine from the receivers. That meant fly route, go, uh-oh, right. look out. That was the nine, and he just kept going all the way into the end zone for the touchdown. Puts his fielded at the goal line. And a good effort on the return there. Gets him across the 30 to the 33-yard line. The offense trots back out there. Let's turn our focus now to Nick Chubb. And I'm wondering if maybe they don't go away from him on this drive a little bit. He's He's been great, but they haven't scored a lot of points. I think they still have to show him as a threat. Make sure he touches it a few times. But as you pointed out, use him as a decoy a little bit and get the ball in the hands of some other people in order to put more That's points right. on the board. He's done a really crazy. nice Who job does? of establishing them with his running. Yeah, he's established himself well. Now can they put more points up? 23 yards on the tuck and run. Partner, it's often the man coverage is easier for a quarterback to run against. You get your receivers going downfield. Those guys are so little and oftentimes they have their back ow, to the quarterback, ow. which opens up a lot of space and room, ow. and they don't even know that he's taken off with it. What a big-time pickup on that play. And he's taken down inside the 30. The escapability in evidence there is that one good for 15 and a first. Containing him is becoming a big problem. We've already seen this once earlier on this drive. Yeah, and so now two times this has happened. Do you adjust something? Yeah, I think you do. I think you have something about your score. Yeah, it's it's score. Touchdown. Touchdown, Browns. Baker Mayfield, 29 yards. Yeah, and the Browns yeah. have retaken the lead. And while that touchdown does not give them an insurmountable lead, it's still a lead, and that always feels good to a team. They'd love to take that into the lockers, but a little time left on that clock, so some work to do. I like that. I like how you're guarding against a letdown there. Are you looking forward? Coaching them up from right up here in the booth. Extra point by Seibert, up and good. And the lead is now 14 to 10. Following the touchdown, here's Seibert now to kick it off. This will be fielded at the six. And not a bad return here. He gets it out to the 25-yard line. Out comes Patrick Mahomes in the Chiefs offense. Been a decent start for him here in this first half, but bottom line, his team's losing. They got to fix something. And it starts with him. He has to keep that little quarterback strut going right now to make sure that his team sees him as confident. Continue to try and up his game, but just let him know, hey, if I'm around, if I'm the one calling signals and throwing the football, just follow me, we'll get there. Sometimes that will do more to elevate a team than anything else. See if he has that confidence. Kelsey imposing his will. That goes for a Chiefs first down, 14 yards. A lot of tight ends just use their size and their strength, try to occupy some space and kind of body people away and catch the football. But not this guy. He's a refined route runner. Makes me wonder if he took some dance classes in his background with his footwork. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. Now here's Mahomes. And that one will fall incomplete. Clock here now, just under 30 seconds to go in this first half. So line of scrimmage, still the 39 on second and 10. Ah, come on. To throw, it's Mahomes. They'll set up the screen. This is Williams. And they'll get this well past midfield before being stopped just before the 35. The Chiefs now going to use the first of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 21 seconds to go here in the first half. Mahomes now hitting on 80% of his passes in the early going. 8 of 10. It's first down. And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. It's been my observation. There's been a nice variety of play calling defensively. You and I often talk about an offense's ability to keep a defense off balance with what they're doing. I think the converse has been true in this game. Yeah, I think you're right. They seem to have gone off tendency quite a bit, but only the second quarter, a lot of time to change things. Now a timeout taken. Perhaps a chance for one more quick play and then another timeout if they hurry. We'll see. It looks like a nickel set now for the Browns on third down. Watch the slant. Watch the slant. 
Shotgun snap to Mahomes. And that is yes, incomplete. Oh. Stopping the clock with five seconds to go. And for the second time tonight, this field goal unit comes out here. He was true on his first, this a tough one, from 49 yards away. And this one looks good, it is good. Right down the pipe, and the lead is down to one now at 14-13. So a big play before the end of the half to get him into this spot, and they cash in with three. How about the one-two to the solar plexus on that one? The big play, the field goal, not much time left on the clock. That's the way to go into the half. So a very tight first half. We had to break in a one-point game as we'll head down to Orlando. That's where we find our man Jonathan Coachman at our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. Okay, Brandon, thanks very much. And welcome in, everyone, to an abbreviated version of the EA Sports Halftime Report. This one has the look of a game that could very well go down to the wire. Just one <laughs> point separating these two clubs at the break. Forecast calling for more of the same. The rain set to continue as we are underway in the second half. This is taken at his four. Ow! They'll bring it back to just about the 25, cut it to 24 yard line. Here's the Browns offense now getting set to start off this third quarter. They have the lead now. They'll be looking for some separation here as we begin the third quarter. I like the way you turn that because now I think they go a little bit deeper into their playbook. They like what they did in the first half. That worked okay. But in order to get the separation that you just talked about, change things up a little bit. Change your tendencies. Try and hit them a little bit more with some things they didn't see in the first half. Let's see if they do just that. A gain of five, good enough for the first down. They run again on first down, Chubb. They're trying to show that they can run the ball, protect this lead, give it to the backs, put a little bit of keep away, don't you think? And that's probably a good philosophy at this point, going to make that defense stand up and stop them. Seven yards on the pickup there, and it'll leave them with a second and three. They go with Chubb on second down. And now they're going to get him down right at the line of scrimmage. Call it no game that time, as it's going to leave them with a third and about three to go. They'll run for it. Here's Chubb. I know the scouting report on him is that he doesn't possess the eye discipline to be an elite linebacker. And what that means is his ability to read, react, and make a play. But on that one, he looked like one of those guys. All runs on this drive so far. It's first and ten. Mayfield hands it off to Chubb. Oh, you heard me, go by. Evades the tackler and now some space. So that drives six plays, 75 yards. And Nick Chubb, the one to finish it off, as he does so with a touchdown run. Following the touchdown, here's Seibert now to kick it off. This one taken from the seventh. And he'll take it past the 25 and up to the 28-yard line. So here's the Chiefs offense ready for their first reps in half number two. They're down in this game. A chance for the offense, though, to put something on the board, get some momentum here in half two. Try and get things kick-started for them. And you know at the half, they discussed how they were going to get that done. This is where scripting comes into play. Okay, right? you know, okay. do you script coming out of the most, most of the time in the first half, you're scripting 12 to 16. I think in the second half, you're really scripting more like 8 to 10. Kind of a starter or an opener, whatever, they, whatever terminology they use. Just something to get you off to a quick start. And they're not going to get to the line to run another play. So we will switch ends as the third quarter has come to a close. This is the National Football League on EA Sports. From the 30 on second down, Mahomes, that one complete to Hill. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. That one good for 12 yards in a Kansas City first. 
Mahomes now on first down. He finds Robinson. And he's going to get this down to the 35-yard line. 23 yards, the final tally. You know I'm going to lean towards the defender, right? You know I'm going to do that. I know. That's a tough situation for him as I see it. But the truth of the matter is, that ball was not streaking towards him. That little arc on it, he's got to find a way to get his head around and make the play on the football. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. Here's second and 10 now from the 35. Off the draw, here's Williams. And that didn't fool anybody. He's going to be dropped in the backfield. The second down play results in a loss of two yards. The Chiefs on third down, just one for three thus far. This is third down and 12. Fourth quarter, down to the final two minutes, and we've got a one-score game. So the Chiefs in possession of the ball as we welcome you back. They face a critical third down now, needing a score here in the late going. And oh, a crusher there as it's intercepted. Picked off by Morgan Burnett, and he'll bring this all the way up to the 45-yard line. Well, they needed the touchdown and the two-point conversion, but they're not going to get a shot at either. This is a great play here defensively, Brandon, and at a time that they sorely needed one. And that could be enough to help get them out of here with a victory. The Chiefs will use the first of their timeouts as they'll talk things over prior to this upcoming second down play. The last run got three. Now here's second and seven. And again, it's Chubb. And an alley to run. You heard me. Breaks the tackle. He's got room to run. There he goes left yeah. side. And all the way in. Touchdown, Cleveland. Nick Chubb, 52 yards. And the Browns are going to tack on to their advantage. He's been having a great game, and that one right there, his best run so far, and it ends with six points. And not only that, in his mind, what is he thinking? Can I get to 200 yards as well? Because he knows he's closing in on it. He may not know the exact number, but the best runners have a feel of what the yardage is that they're compiling, and he knows that he's getting close to that 200-yard mark now. So two plays on that scoring drive. That's how they drew it up. And the long run into the end zone, and what a run it was. <sighs> this is fielded at the goal line. And he'll take this up past the 20 and down at the 22-yard line. Patrick Mahomes in the offense, down by 15. A little over a minute and a half remaining. They need two touchdowns and at least one two-point conversion mixed in there as well. Now a pass that's taken in by Hill. And he's going to get this one across the 30-yard line. An 11-yard pickup, and it's enough for a Chiefs first down. Now a first down carry, it's Williams. And they're able to swarm him behind the line, and his rough night continues. Five yards on the carry, good pickup on first down. From the 39, Mahomes. And that'll be incomplete. Good protection that time, and they couldn't hook up on the long one. Now it's third down. They come up now, third and five, following the incomplete pass. Throwing now is Mahomes. Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. Now another timeout called for by the offense, as he'll stop it with just over 40 seconds to go in the game. And they're indeed going to go for it here on fourth down. So trailing here in the last quarter, let's see how this plays out. Now they go for it on fourth, but this one is going to wind up incomplete. They had to go for it with such little time remaining, and the Browns are going to get this thing back. Excellent field position. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. And the first down and the 20. And he is into the end zone. Touchdown, Cleveland. Kareem Hunt. 34 yards, and the Browns are going to tack on to their advantage. I tell you, Charles, 
You play to the final whistle, I get that, but there are a few folks that might not be too happy with that score late in the game with it already well in hand. You seem a little squeamish about that last ah, score. I struggle with it. <laughs> I struggle. But on the other, the, the argument, I get it on the other side, is, hey, do something about it. Stop them. I guarantee you, I know who was really excited, fantasy owners yeah. who had them. Hey, listen, get the points for me. They're not worried about hurt feelings or anything like that. That's just new age stuff. Following the touchdown, here's Seibert now to kick it off. Fielded about a yard get it, get it, get it, get it. And the decision to come out is going to cost him five as he's taken down right at the 20. The Chiefs offense about set to begin this drive. They're down big here late. I don't know. You just one last drive here for pride. Some people like to do that. I remember playing for a guy once we were down huge and someone said, Coach, what do you want to call? He just waved a hand like, who cares? Let's Make get out of here and do something some other time. But some teams like to do something at the end to feel a little bit better yeah. as they continue to as they continue to move forward. Yeah, probably just want to put this one behind them. Now Mahomes. And incomplete there, almost picked off. That's one you maybe expect your roaming free safety to come up with. But it's second down. So second down and 10. Once again, they'll go from the 40. Mahomes going to throw. And that's going to be incomplete. 12 seconds left. So now third and 10. They had the big play to start the drive, but two incompletions since. Mahomes to throw once more. And Robinson with a big catch. And he takes this way down deep into Cleveland territory. Well, I'm on. That was crazy ass. So lost. Cleveland able to come away Let's with the out. victory That's here. And they were buoyed, Charles, by a big second half to put this one on ice. And I know a lot of people watching this one were thinking to themselves, I'll bet halftime was really interesting. Probably took the paint off the walls with some of the words that were said. <laughs> but I get the sense that it was oh, much man, more of the adjustments yeah. they made. They came in with a game plan that we saw that didn't work in the first half. They made the adjustments necessary, went away from that, and then they got it together, got a spark, and then took off. It's really nice to watch in the second half. So, okay, guys, I'm gonna end around here. I hope you guys enjoyed this video because it gives me a dollar. It was fun playing football. I was enjoying playing sports entertainment. You know, I played football before my uncle did. Pretty football too, but um, I hope you guys like this video because it gives me a dollar, and I will see you guys in my next video tomorrow. Enjoy the enjoy your awesome day, and I will catch you guys up here tomorrow in my next video. Peace.